hey guys welcome back to travel and fun and this time this is a different video as you remember we have told that travel and fun will not only include travel but it will also include fun so this is not one of my favorite it's my favorite uh, simulation games it's train simulator 2019 you can see uh, I'm a very big rail fan by the way so you can see that it's the cover which has trains from Germany the ICE the intercity express from Deutsche Bahn then the US the Union Pacific Rio Grande locomotive and then a local cap from the UK so I'll just explain you the uh, home page of this simulation game you have this drive mode here uh, which will provide you with uh, different driving modes you have quick drive where you can select the locomotive you want you can say I can select the locomotive you can select the route uh, I have some routes downloaded and installed here uh, and I can select the weather conditions summer winter autumn spring um, and what kind of day it is where it's a clear day cloudy and the time and you just click start and you drive freely you're free to turn your junctions and so on and uh, then you have the carrier mode where everything is predefined your missions are predefined uh, now you can see by default the screen is set to this ICE 3M high speed train the route is this Frank's Frankfurt high speed route and if you go here I can select different routes you can see I have route from France I have route from UK uh, I have route from the Americas okay and um, so on so I don't have selection of the weather the day and the time here so it's all predefined so here then if I select this Frankfurt high speed you will see I have different missions here so you can see some of them I have completed some I haven't this bar is a difficulty bar the duration in minutes the train name and the task the mission name you can see the first one is warming the track so the description you can find here and once you're done with the scenario the total score will be reflected here and then you have some standard routes you standard things and where you can select when you're online so this is when you are online then you have this free roam where you can select a route if you have created one okay and then drive your favorite locomotive on that route and then you have this workshop mode which also works online so since I'm not online now mm, I'll put another video where I show you some online modes too let's go to the main menu and the next one is the profile I go to profile when I click to profile you can see this is my profile here my profile name what's my driver level how many medals I have acquired and what's my driver status and my favorite route is determined on which route I have driven the most favorite loco is which loco I have driven the most so you can see here how many medals and which ones they are and then how many scenarios I have failed and how many I have completed so here I, you can see the locos which one I have driven a lot and then the routes and then this is marketplace which is again online so again go to the main menu I go to build this is a different mode here so I can just select any route over here and then edit this route which will make the copy of this route and you can make your own add-ons you can add some different maps to it you can create your own things and one is a new route where I can create a completely new route from scratch uh, so I'm not going to details of creating routes here I'll cover that in a different video and then we have scenarios what kind of scenarios 
if you want to create some a new scenario you can do that like you want to create a scenario to show some people how to drive a diesel locomotive or an electric one you can do this and then you have the publish tab which is again something that is online then I go to the main menu and the next one is the Academy so when I go to Academy you can see you can train yourself to drive a different locomotives here they will teach you all different controls you can select what locomotive you want whether you want an electric one or a diesel one or a DMU or a steam engine and what kind of controls you want to be trained on do you want to be trained on the controls or the driving uh, the objectives whether safety and signaling so these are all the academy and then you have tutorials here uh, about expert controls and simple controls so this was all about the menu and the game this game or simulation is really wonderful if you are a rail fanatic I am and uh, if you want to ask me the settings what is what are the settings that I have kept for this game you can see here the master detail is set to high uh, I would not recommend highest maybe you can try it the resolution is my computer's resolution it's 1920 uh, by 1080 and I play it in full screen I put the dynamic lighting to on the dynamic clouds to on so that the clouds keep moving brightness the gameplay train controls I've kept it expert and carrier scoring yes hence yes auto fireman no auto coupling no because I would I love to do them manually passing danger signal ends game I have clicked no uh, but if you are in carrier this does happen and then auto braking no allow all coupling yes auto pause show intro video and so on the audio and the controls over here mouse and keyboard I have both control sensitivity set to halfway then what are the tools you can view some manuals here uh, you can clear cache you can check out the google maps uh, for the actual routes they are based all the train routes here are based on the uh, real world scenarios so it will be fun to drive so these are the settings and uh, i hope um, i've given you as much information as i can from the home page mm, let's go ahead and complete a career path and see how this game looks so see you around so guys here you can see we are now inside the dbbr 189 locomotive from Deutsche Bahn um, so I'm inside the locomotive and you can see good afternoon driver once you have prepared your locomotive there is a rake of empty hoppers located on Mannheim Gleis 702 Gleis track that you need to take to Schwedzingen head towards Mannheim reverse point whenever you are ready ensure that all manual junctions are set current correctly before continuing so I'll close this message and let's get our locomotive ready i release the local brakes i'll check for the other brakes too so this is the local brake i release it and the dynamic brake is at zero percent so now i put the reverser to forward and let's have a check at the outside of the locomotive oh the locomotive looks cool so red one here it is the DB 189 locomotive looks pretty good so let's go ahead until the reversal point let's get started guys speed limit is 20 you can see we have to stop at this Mannheim reverse point and we have to reach at 1439 distance to this point is 1.84 kilometers and the estimated time of arrival 
Oh, it's fading already. Go down. It is 1438. 39. Now it shows. Ah, I love this chugging sound. Guys, just look at the graphics. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. Like every detail out there. Let's let me go down and check. Oh my. Speed limit is 40. I go ahead and increase it to 40. It's 35 now. To know where the markers of your tasks are, just press F6 and you see that. So you can see that. Let's go ahead. We still have 1.31 kilometers. The reversal point talking about the controls and the screen here this will give you the 2d map you can see you'll open it this is the 2d map if I see center player it will center upon me so here I am moving and I go back and here you can see your task log what you have to do so it shows me all the task log here okay and uh, next you have the couple button here so once you are behind any locomotive just go ahead and couple it if we are at a good speed oh we are reaching a little bit late so let me just increase the speed to 40 Let's go ahead with the screen options. Here you can see what is the current speed, the speed limit, how much current is the locomotive drawing. Okay, I will have to brake. Guys, we have to make sure about the drive quality. See this white dot here, if it's in green, the more it's in green, the better your drive quality is. The more towards the red, the worse it is. So that will count up to your points also emergency braking speeding they all add up to negative points on time arrivals good drive quality they all lead to positive points I have almost reached the reverse point. I'll now break my locomotive. Yeah, I've braked it. So I'll wait until this task is done. Then I think I will have to reverse my locomotive. So there are a huge number of containers and hoppers waiting here. Don't know which one. We'll just oh, I already have a message. Now reverse and couple up to your train. Okay, go ahead and I reverse. Let's see what happens when I reverse the train. Oh, the tail lights are now the headlights. Okay, let's go ahead, couple up. I guess the junctions are set automatically. Yeah. I am going on to the Mannheim track 702. Ah, this one here, I need to slow. 
slow down. Let's do it slow and steady. Time to couple. Okay, let's see if we have couple. Let's couple it. Yeah, we have couple now. Okay, you'll need to set the points to head via Mannheim, Nach Schwedzingen. When you're ready, you can begin the journey. Okay, so let's configure the switches. I'll put the reversal to forward and let's just travel across and see the switches take us and go to the globe Okay guys, so we are all set, I've set the junctions and let's go ahead and release the local brake, train brake release, local brake release, dynamic brake release, let's go ahead. The train is loaded, the locomotive is loaded, so you can see the acceleration is slower now. So guys, let's go ahead and enjoy some good views. Enjoy! This is a huge yard at Mannheim, I see. It's really huge. A lot of junctions. I hope I have set the junctions right. I can see some red signals yeah I can see a green in between there let's just zoom in yeah there's a green yeah there's a green okay yeah that's ours we're good to go
Beautiful. This simulation is beautiful. I just love it. So we have a green signal. We are good to go. Guys, just look at the graphics. The signal lights. Oh, there's another freight train going sideways. Here you can see we have a speed limit of 60 coming ahead. So that speed limit will only be applicable when our entire train passes that speed limit board. Let's wait for our speed limit to increase to 60. Let's go a bit faster. Yeah. Guess I'm already delayed by two minutes. You can see that my oh, I have a speed limit increase now. So I've increased my throttle to 100 wait for my speed to touch 60 Oh, we have an even higher speed limit coming ahead. Let's go for another view. There's a train coming. There it is, the mighty Deutsche Bahn.
So guys, I have a message here. Please note that the line speeds in the Schwetzingen sidings are 40 km per hour. So even if it's not mentioned so, you have to consider them as 40 and drive accordingly. Hmm, nice. So we will be at Schwetzingen in 2.3 kilometers and up ahead we have a speed limit of 50 so I'll try to brake that's the railroad crossing Show me 50. That's not good. That was crazy. It didn't show me an upcoming speed limit of 50 anywhere. Oh, that's crazy. I've gone to minus 195. Guys, we are almost there at Schwetzingen. 700 meters. Yeah, sure. We have to stop in this yellow part on the map below. Let's wait for our locomotive to get in. We are delayed by 3 minutes, not good. <laughs> Another passenger train going. Okay, I wait for this to complete. Yes, now we have to uncouple the wagons. The coupling. Before you pull forward, charging and glide on the road, you will need to obtain permission from the signal by pressing tab. So I need to press tab to obtain permission from the signal. So I press tab. Yeah, request to pass the signal danger is approved. So okay, go ahead, release. Let's see if our locomotive is really uncoupled. Go to this external view. Bye bye. Yep, yeah, so they are uncoupled. You can see guys my score is well below in the negative in 
that's bad. Touch me, the wagons are located in Schwedzing in Gleis 12. Run around the train via Schwedzing in reverse. The points will be automatically set. Okay. So I reverse my train. Really easy. Let's go. I see a red signal, I try to tab, okay request to pass signal at danger approved. Shredging in reverse. I guess I'll have to go ahead and couple a set of another wagons and take them back to Mannheim. Let's wait and watch. Now reverse back to couple up to the wagons. Okay. Let's go ahead. Release. Uh, increase the throttle. Track 10, track 11, there 
this track 12. There's a set of hoppers that I bought in, and this is the one that we have to take out. I would recommend a speed of around. 5 to 7 for coupling gradually break it couple more ready to head back to Mannheim ok the approval to pass the signal let's see if my brakes are all released let's go
so guys that's the final leg of our journey they said that the junctions are automatically set and we have to stop at the Mannheim Einfahrgruppe 511 let's just slow down a little bit There we are at the destination of our journey with a negative 7,763 points. Well, uh, it's good if we get positive points, but yeah, my point for this video was to let you know about the simulation and how great it is to play with it. So guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want more such kind of things from the simulation, more routes to be covered, if you want to see more, don't forget to let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I'll keep you posted with more videos like this. So guys until then, it's ciao ciao from me Deepak travel and fun and see you guys in the next video take care bye bye